Hello, my name is Keshwani. That's K E S H W A N R. Keshwani. We are here because we want to prepare for the GRE. We have been solving math problems out of this book here, the official guide to the GRE, the third edition. If you do not own this book already, purchase one immediately. You're going to need it. Today is our lesson number 122. Day 3122. 3 is to signify the fact that we are in the third edition. Third edition, day 122. We'll do problem that you see here on page number 318. You will find it. Example 4.6.2. Example 4.6.2 on page 318. Please turn to it. Make sure you read the problem yourself because on the blackboard I abbreviate a lot of things. What is given to us in the book actually is a pie chart. Instead of drawing the actual pie chart, I just gave you the figures. So here, here is how it goes. These figures are for 1971. Because later on in the problem they will ask us to compare this, this year with some other number. For some, some, with some other year that is. But these are for 1971 and these are the figures. The first category is what they are calling sensitized goods. I do not know what, bloody, what the bloody hell is sensitized goods, but whatever it is, is 47% of their total sales. It represents 47% of total sales or total production, whatever it is, total production. Of all the goods that they produce, almost half of half the value came from, half the value of all the goods that were produced came from this category, sensitized goods. Copiers represent 25% of total value, 12% was still picture equipment, still picture equipment, 5% of machines that were produced were dealing with motion picture equipment, 7% came from chemicals, 4% came from microfilm, microfilm equipment. They had a total sales or rather total production of $3,980 million. $3,980 million even though it is $3,980 million and it does warm the cockles of one's heart that it is exactly $3,980 million but we're not going to deal with the bloody thing, we're just going to approximate it. Let's just pretend that it is four thousand million dollars or or simply four billion dollars as far as we're concerned is four billion dollars let's answer the first question before we answer the first question and since i'm looking at it and since i remember it now because i forgot in the last video in the yesterday's video on three thousand uh, on day number 121 when we were doing the previous problem four 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 point six point one uh, we mentioned the fact that they, they used the term spe special passenger accommodation. And at that point I just remarked that, just, that, that, is just a very, that is just a euphemistic way of saying maybe the passenger was handicapped, it was an invalid, older person, and they needed a wheelchair or something. When you have passengers like that, you have to make special accommodations. And they, instead of calling this passenger invalid or old people or handicapped, uh, they, they call them special passenger. And what we said is that that's just a euphemistic way of referring to this passenger. Euphemistic. It's a word that we learned in our vocabulary in our vocabulary lessons on day number nine. Just type in GRE vocabulary words, search for GRE vocabulary words, day nine, and learn the word if you do not understand what it means. Euphemism. The actual word is the noun is euphemism. You mustn't just concentrate only on the math part because I know you're working on the math portion because you're here but you mustn't forget the other half of the exam which is the verbal part and in the verbal part the most crucial, the most essential, most important the, the, the most vital element over there is the vocabulary you must learn the words that appear on a regular basis on the exam and if you're interested in improving your vocabulary and I see no reason why you wouldn't be watch these videos just type in GRE vocabulary words Day one, that's where the series begins. And we learned this word euphemism on day number nine. Well, enough of that talk. Part A. What is the ratio? What is the ratio of sensitized sensitized goods to still pictures for this year? Well, sensitized goods as you can see there is 47%. It's 47% of 4 billion. And still goods, it's still pictures rather, it's still pictures, that's motion picture, it's still pictures is 12. It's still pictures is 12%. And since the amount are the same, in both cases is 
four billion, we don't have to waste our time figuring out the dollar amount and then figure out the ratio. Just figure out the two ratios of two percentages. Is 47% to 12%, which is approximately the same as, which is approximately the same as 48 to 12. The ratio is four to one. The required ratio, the required ratio is four to one. In other words, for every four dollars worth of equipment that they produce, dealing with sensitized, sensi I can't say, sensitized, sensitized goods. For every four dollars worth of goods they produce in this category, they produce one dollars worth of goods. Dealing with still pictures. Let's do part B. Oh, before I completely forget, I, I did I did forget. I made a note here on the side, and I forgot to share that with you. I would like you to compare. I would like you to compare this problem. This problem that we're doing here to the one to the one that we did to the one that was done on day number 3082. On day 82, we did the problem very, as a matter of fact, the same data set, but it was, there were some different problems that we did, which appeared on page number 291. On page number 291, if you turn to page number 291, you will see the same pie chart, and we set some problems there. I would like to practice those as well. It doesn't hurt. And I hope that you already did it, because I'm hoping that you're watching this series in the proper sequence. Don't go all over the place. If you're watching day 122, I take it for granted that you already watched day 82. But since it's been a while, after you finish watching this video, watch that one and do the problems that we did over there also. They're very similar, obviously. Part B. What reminded me was the fact that, uh, what reminded me was the part B here. We did the very similar thing that we're going to do in part B. It says, Value of copier for 1971, which is what this is, this is dealing with 1971, this data is for 1971, we are told was 30% more than the value in 1970. So this figure whatever the value here, value of copiers, whatever it is, the value of copier, that figure is, we are told, is 30% more than the value of the copier, well, machines dealing with copiers that were produced in 1970. It went up by 30% from 1970 to 71. The question simply is, question simply is, what was, what was the value of copiers produced in 1970. What was the value of copiers produced in 1970? So before we worry about what was the value of the copiers produced in 1970, we first have to figure out what was the value of the copiers produced in 1971, because we are told that the figures that we will get in 1970, that we have in 1971, represents a 30% increase from 1970. So before we worry about what it was in 1970, we had to first figure out what it was in 1971. And figures for 1971 is very straightforward. Value of copiers in 1971, but we need the room so we can erase all of this thing. The value of copiers in 1971, the value of copiers in 1971 is very straightforward. Copiers are right here, they are 25%. 25%, 25% of what? 25% of 4 billion. 25% of 4 billion. 25% of 4 billion is 1 billion. Or if you like, 1,000 million dollars. And that 1,000 million dollars represents that 1,000 million dollars that we just found. Let's forget the M right now. Let's forget the million. We know we're doing it in a million. This 1,000 represents 30% increase. This, uh, this is equal to 30% more then 1970 figures, 1970s figures. So let's call the 1970s figures X. And if you take 30% more than that, which will be 1.3 times X, that is 1,000. Let me just have to figure out what the, what the value was in 1970. 
Let's do it on the top. We need the room here. So we're going to divide both sides by 1.3. So x equals 1 point, or rather 1,000 divided by 1.3. Let's multiply top and bottom by 10. And what we end up is 1,000 times 10 is going to be 10,000 over 13. 10,000 over 13. Let's find out what that is on the top. Ten thousand over thirteen. Okay, I'm going to get rid of the comma here because you're going to need a hundred. So it's ten thousand. How many? How many thirteen in a hundred? I don't know. I know thirteen, ta thirteen times five. I know five thirteens are sixty-five. That I do know. I do know that five thirteens are sixty-five because I know we know that ten thirteens are ten thirteens. 10 thirteens are 130. If 10 are 130, 5 thirteens, 5 thirteens must be half of it, which is 65. I'm just being silly. The 65 represents 5 thirteens. Let's add one more 13 to it because we want to get close to 100. We're going to get 78. I think we can go one more. 1, 11, carry 1. Oh, there we go. So what does 91 represent? What does 91 represent? But this is 5 thirteens, this is 5 thirteens, this is 6 thirteens, this is 7 thirteens, this is 6 thirteens. That was 5 thirteens. So 7 thirteens, 7 thirteens are 91. Carry 9, uh, 9 comes out. And then we have a 90. Now here's what's going on. Okay, listen carefully. We have a 90 here. Instead of 90, if we had 91, we bring the 0 down and it becomes a 90. But instead of 90, instead of 90, if we had 91, we know 91 is exactly 6 times it. Or rather, 7 times. That was 6 times. Of course 7 times, we just put a 7 there. You see that? So we're just going to pretend that instead of, instead of, instead of 10,000, we're going to pretend that it's 10,010. Approximated, do you understand? So the 1 comes down and we get 77. That's done, and now the, finally the 0 comes down. That 0 actually will appear on the top. There we go, we're done. The answer is x equals 770. 770. It used to be the total value of all the all the copiers that were produced, total value of all the copiers that were produced in 1970. In 1970, the values of copiers produced. was 770 million dollars. That's what we're claiming. That's what we're claiming. And we can actually show, we can actually show that our work is correct. Let's erase this thing. We can actually show it. doesn't take, it really doesn't take that long to show it to us. But this, uh, this I want to put in a just See this zero that was left over simply went on the top. To bring it down would be a damn silly thing to do. It would be too childish. There was a zero left over in there and that appears on the top. Let's show very quickly, let's show very quickly that if, if the figures were in fact $770 million and if we were to increase it by 30%, we should get a billion dollars. Let's, let's show it to us. So 770, 770, watch what happens. Watch what happens. If the figures were 770 for 1970, if you increase it by 10%, you get that amount. If you increase by another 10%, you get that amount. If you get increased by another 10%, you get that amount. And that represents a 30% increase. You see that? Let's add them up. So that's 21. And that one is the, is the, is the one that is appearing here. You see? That's 21. Carry 2. 7, 7, 7, 7. That's 28. 28 plus 2 is 30. 0. Carry 3. There you go. You see? So in reality, by doing this, what we are, instead, instead of saying 1 billion, instead of saying that 25%, 25% of 4 billion is 1 billion. In this calculation, we pretended that 25% of 4 billion was actually 1,001 million. We are off by a million. The answer is 770 million. The value must have been 770 million in 1970 for all the copiers that were produced. Do you understand? Let's do one more part, part C, part C that does not appear in the book. Okay, just give me a second. Part C. 
which, as I just said, does not appear in the book. But here's the question. This is not in the book. The question is, still pictures represents approximately how many degrees of the pie chart. They are representing the whole thing in terms of pie chart and the question is if you were to plot it in terms of pie chart the figures for still pictures will be shown by approximately how many degrees how many degrees of the pie chart well, let's see still pictures where is it the still pictures is right here the still pictures right here and we were told that 12 percent of all the values of all the equipment that they were produced that they produced in 1971 12 percent of all the total value uh, comprised the still picture equipments so we just have to figure out what is 12 percent what is 12% of 360 degrees? Because the whole circle is made up of 360 degrees. Let's do it on the let's do it on the side somewhere here. I don't know why I write such a, in, a, in a, such a huge way. I leave no room for myself. 12% 12% of 360 degrees. Let's do it here. 360 12%. Okay. Let's do it together. Two, 6 2 is a 12, 2 carry 1, 3 2 is a 6 plus 1 is 7, and times 1 is just going to be 36. So we get 2, 13, carry 1, carry 1, and the, so the answer is it is approximately, well, it's exactly as a matter of fact, it's 7, 12% 12 of 360, 12% 12 of 360 degrees is actually exactly equal to 43.2 degrees. But if they use the word approximately, if they use the word approximately, then the answer choices are going to be in whole number, and in which case we'll say that it is approximately 43%. The question like this does appear on the exam, and it's 43%. Do you understand? 12%. That's it. How else could we figure out? How else could we figure? Did you understand what we did here? In case you did not understand, here's what we did here. Look, here's what's going on. There is a zero here. There is a zero here because it's 360 and this 12 is supposed to be 12 percent isn't it it's supposed to be 12 percent 12 percent means watch what happens 12 percent means 12 percent means 0 0.12 so by making it 12 we ignore two digits going to the going to the right here and we ignored one digit going there so the net effect you see we ignored the zero here so we had ignored one digit going to the left and we ignore two digits going to the right which means the net effect is going one unit to the right so it's 432 in reality it is 443.2 do you understand and that's what it was another way we could have figured it out another way we could, another, another way we could have figured out 12 percent of 360 is very simple look we know 10 percent we know 10 percent is 36 and 1% of 360 is actually 3.6 but let's not put 3.6 1% of 360 is 3.6 but let's just pretend it is 3.5 approximately another 1% would be another 3.5 degrees 3.5 and 3.5 and is 7 36 uh, 7 plus 36 is what we're looking at is 43 degrees you see the point 2 we are off is because we're pretending that the one percent is three and a half. Actually, it is one percent of three sixty is three point six point one point one. You may are missing the point two there. I'll see you tomorrow. Okay, tomorrow we'll do the next problem that you see on the following page, on page number three nineteen, dealing with set theory. Okay, bye now.